with growing uncertainties in Afghanistan after the U.S. military's rapid exit from the country. The Taliban says it will announce on Friday the formation of a new government. The group will be led by Haibatullah Akunzada, and he will head any governing council that will be established. Kim hyo with the details. Following America's complete withdrawal from Afghanistan, the Taliban said Wednesday that its supreme commander will head any governing council in the country. Saying Haibatullah Abkunzada will be the top leader, the Taliban added there will also be a prime minister post. Akunzada was appointed to the post in 2016 and since then has had the final word on the group's political, religious and military affairs. The Taliban also stressed the new government will be a model for the Afghan people. Russia's state-run news agency Sputnik reports that the Taliban will announce the formation of a new government on September 3rd. Meanwhile, the Taliban is reportedly in talks with the governments of Qatar and Turkey on ways to manage Kabul airport as it does not have sufficient air traffic control services after the U.S. withdrawal. Technical teams from Qatar are now in Kabul to provide assistance. Wishing to be recognized as a normal state internationally, the Taliban is aiming to quickly resume the airport's operations. This comes as the Taliban is exerting tremendous efforts domestically to fight anti-Taliban forces. The group has sent fighters to the Panjshir Valley stronghold of the National Resistance Front, which includes both anti-Taliban fighters and former Afghan security forces who have vowed to defend the region. The valley, which starts some 80 kilometers north of Kabul, is the main enclave for anti-Taliban forces in Afghanistan. Kim Hyo-san, Arirang News.